So Coastal Carolina ended up victorious 49-22 over Kansas. Their first home victory hosting a Power 5 conference team. Wow, they're now 4-0 versus the Big 12 if you count the BYU victory. 49-22 also cover the spread. Let's start with giving props to Kansas. Jason Bean, holy cow, he might have been the fastest person on the field. Hell of an effort, and congratulations to him. Let's start on the defense with freshman defensive tackle Josiah Stewart, who basically, this is his first real game since the style of offense that the Citadel played. He really didn't get much playing time, if any. So in his first real start, he sets the Coastal School record with three and a half sacks opening up. Transition to defense and special teams. We gotta go Alex Spillum. Holy cow, he was in full beast mode the entire night. He wasn't offsides on the block field goal. Let's give him credit for the block field goal. Before that, he had a blocked punt recovery and touchdown, okay? He did all three. He got the hat trick in one play. On top of that, he still had six tackles and he had two pass breakups. He's gonna be in contention for National Player of the Week honors in the Coach and Crew Show. I can promise you that much. On the offensive side, Reese White had his first ever 100-yard game, 102 yards, and he got the hat trick, three touchdowns. And earlier this week, he even he said, I'm going to have three this week. Well, sure enough, Reese came through. And now Coach Chadwell's comments about the game. Yeah, first of all, I, I would say one one, please, uh, with our victory, uh, you know, had opportunity here on uh, national television to, to showcase our university and our play. Uh, and uh, you know, to set a, a, a attendance record is awesome. Our, our student body was great. The community that was that was, that, that was uh, fun to see, fun to fun to be a part of that history making. Uh, and uh, you know, I thought we did a lot of really good things. There's things that we've got to definitely clean up. Uh, you know, from a standpoint, I don't I don't know if we played overly great defensively. You know, at, at times we did we looked good. Other times we just we didn't do a good job. But we've got to clean those up. But coach, after. Uh... Two games, your offense is averaging 9.14 yards per play, which will be, what, top 10 in the nation by the end of the weekend. Do you want to comment on how you feel the offense is running so far? I, you know, I think we're playing well. Uh, we're, we're executing. We've been pretty efficient. We did have the turnover today, which, you know, we can't have in there. We were, we, were, we had a touchdown balance with the end. We should have. We should have. So I, I'm upset at that. But I think we've executed. We're doing well third down. Our, our, our coordinators are putting in a good plan. I think we're – I think we're uh, – you know, moving the ball around, trying to do some different things with different people, getting in their playmakers. Uh, and, uh, you know, the thing, though, that's, that's two games in a row where, uh, you know, the other teams have more plays than us and they've had the ball longer than us, which is typically doesn't happen. So now we're scoring, which is great, um, but we need to make sure we can get back to milking some of the clock a little bit too. So, but you know, the thing with Alex is uh, he's a heady player. He's athletic. He runs that whole secondary, but he can, I mean, he's on a bunch of special teams and that, that's what makes him unique. You know, he's like a, he's a Swiss Army knife. He wanted, he wanted me to put him at wide receiver at some point just because he just wants to be able to help, you know. Reporting from the surf turf, I am Charlie Krause and please follow us on Twitter at Coach Crew Show or our website coachandcrewshow.com slash college dash football or just coachandcrewshow.com.